hello friends in uh, today's lecture we will derive the equation for fundamental equation of correct steering now we know that steering gear mechanisms are used to affect the steering in four wheel drives usually the steering is affected by the front axle and what is expected that while taking a turn the vehicle should not skid off the road vehicle should not skid off the road surface this is possible only when the motion between the wheels and the road surface is that of pure rolling so while the vehicle is taking a turn the wheels of the vehicle should have pure rolling motion with respect to the ground surface so that the vehicle is not skid off the road now to ensure this to ensure the pure rolling motion of all the wheels with respect to the road surface it is expected that all the wheels should move along concentric circular path all the wheels should move along concentric circular path while the vehicle is taking a turn so that the pure rolling motion is maintained between the wheels and the road surface now to satisfy this condition while taking a turn to make sure that all the wheels turn on the paths which are concentric and circular to each other all the axes or axis of all the wheels must intersect at the common center so let us consider that i have shown the top view of the vehicle frame here let us suppose that the vehicle takes the right turn so while the vehicle is taking a right turn let us suppose that the outer wheel has turned through an angle of 5 degrees while the inner wheel has turned through an angle of theta degrees and to ensure the rolling motion between the wheels and the ground surface we have seen that all the wheels should move along the concentric circular path that means the axis of rotation of all the wheels must pass through the common center i which lies on the axis of rear wheels okay now this is the geometrical condition we have obtained for avoiding the slip of the wheels on the road surface now let us suppose that w is the width of this vehicle l is the wheel base that is distance between front and rear axle i will name these points say this is point p this is point q here yeah. now this angle will be angle phi angle of the outer wheel at the center of rotation and this angle will be angle theta correct this is angle theta now from first right angle triangle from triangle i q say this is s i q s which is a right angle triangle at q we have cot of phi is equals to adjacent side i q upon opposite side q s that is equals to l therefore we get i q is equals to l cot of phi from this first triangle now from second right angle triangle including the angle turned by the inner wheel theta 
सो ट्राइंगल आई पी से आर आई पी आर विच इज राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल एट पी सो वी अगेन हैव कॉट ऑफ थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू एट दिस इन साइड आई पी अपॉन ऑपोजिट साइड पी आर विच इज इक्वल्स टू दील बेस एल देर फोर आई पी इज इक्वल्स टू एल इन टू कॉट ऑफ थीटा ओके नेक्स्ट दिस डिस्टेंस क्यू पी और डब्ल्यू से डब्ल्यू और क्यू पी इज इक्वल्स टू दिस डब्ल्यू और क्यू पी इक्वल्स टू आई क्यू माइनस आई पी आई क्यू माइनस आई पी नाउ लेट एस सब्सिट्यूट वैल्यूज ऑफ आई क्यू एंड आई पी फ्रॉम दिस जोमेट्री सो वी गेट डब्ल्यू इक्वल्स टू आई क्यू इज एल इन टू कॉट ऑफ फाइव एंड आई पी इज एल इन टू कॉट ऑफ थीटा सो वट वी गेट वी टेक विल टेक एल टू द लेफ्ट एंड साइड we get w upon l is equals to cot of phi minus cot of theta where w is the width of the vehicle l is the wheel base phi is the angle turned by the outer wheel theta is the angle turned by the inner wheel okay so cot of Phi minus cot of theta. That is cot of the angle turned by the outer wheel minus cot of angle turned by the inner wheel is equals to W by L. This equation is called as fundamental equation of correct steering. Fundamental equation of correct steering. And the steering gear mechanisms which satisfy this equation are called as steering gear mechanisms and uh, there are two such steering gear mechanisms which satisfy the fundamental equation of correct steering first one is davis steering gear mechanism and second one is ackerman steering gear mechanism both of these mechanisms satisfy this fundamental equation of correct steering so these are called as steering gear mechanisms davis steering gear mechanism and ackerman steering gear mechanism so while designing the steering gear system it has to follow this equation which has been derived from geometrical condition to avoid the slip of the wheels from the road surface during when the vehicle is taking a turn so in the next lecture we will uh, discuss about davis steering gear mechanism and ackerman steering gear mechanism thank you